Some engine configurations are more prevalent than others, as each of them has different benefits. These benefits are often very specific, depending on the application. Inline engines are the simplest ones. V-blocks are compact, and flat boxers are usually the most balanced, making them great for applications requiring a low center of gravity. There are also other configurations, such as a square four, U-engines, three bank units, and X-shaped engines. Can you name a single X-shaped power plant? As the number of cylinders increases, it becomes trickier to find the perfect engine layout. It is especially true when the engine needs to be large, but the engine compartment is tight and the available options are limited. Let's take a regular engine as an example. It is extremely short, roughly the length of a single cylinder, but its round shape requires wide and tall space. The most ideal application for a radial engine is in an aircraft, as any road vehicle would need an awkwardly shaped engine compartment to accommodate such a power plant. Although it is a rare sight, there is a Sherman tank that uses a single-row, nine-cylinder radial engine. There is a unique X-shaped engine that features a convenient cube layout, making it easier to fit into smaller compartments. Compared to a comparable V-engine, it is shorter and has a lower center of gravity although it is wider and much more complex. The X-shaped engine accommodates up to four banks of cylinders in the various directions around a single crankshaft. However, the design and manufacturing come with increased costs, mainly due to the higher number of parts and the complexity of the manifolds and lubrication system. X-engines were commonly built with 16 or 24 cylinders for heavy aircraft, generating upwards of 1000 horsepower per engine. This solution was popular not because of inherent benefits of the X engine itself, but rather as a means to create a larger and more powerful engine by combining two existing B12 engines. In history, there are several notable examples of X engines. For instance, there was the 46 liter Dynamo Benz DB604, an experimental engine from 1939 that produced 2350 horsepower at 3200 rpm. Another example is the 60 liter Nebri Cup, a 16 cylinder experimental engine that generated 1000 horsepower at 1100 rpm. There was also the supercharged Isoda Freskini Zeta, which developed 1200 horsepower, and a 48 liter 16 cylinder two stroke diesel engine the General Motors 16184. The latter appeared on several vessels, but proved to be unreliable and was eventually replaced. In the United States, there was also the Packard X2775, a built-to-order engine that received no orders, and only two engines were produced for the Navy. Rolls-Royce also made attempts to engineer a production X engine. However, both projects, the 22-liter X, and the 42 liter Vulture were suspended. The Vulture, essentially composed of two Peregrine engines, saw over 500 units produced, but due to an abbreviated development period caused by the Merlin engine's development, it suffered from reliability issues. Furthermore, the Merlin engine eventually approached the power output of the Vulture despite its smaller displacement. Fascinating is the fact that there are small examples as well, and even present-made running ones today. To begin with, in the 1920s, Henry Ford experienced a weird need to develop a cross-shaped 8-cylinder, and it wasn't a single prototype. Ford's engineer, Eugene Farkas, remembers when Henry told him, I know you will laugh, but I want to build a cross-shaped engine with 8 cylinders. Let's get busy on it. This development lasted for seven years, 
from as small as 107 cubic inches up to large marine applications. At least a dozen of them were built, even water-cooled ones with dual camshafts and a pressure lubrication system. Ford had concerns about long crankshafts, which motivated him to invest significant effort into developing the X-engine. However, persisting issues with lubrication and manifold design, uh, even after several years of development, led Ford to ultimately shelve the project. Despite making a bold official claim in 1926 that an X engine would replace the Model T, the challenges proved too significant. The rest of the automotive history unfolded with the introduction of the iconic V8 flathead engine with the preserving X8s in museums and hands of private collectors. the reality has not been fable for the existence of X-engines, as most concepts and production engines were abandoned. There is an exception in the form of the Chelyabinsk 12 and 360, also known as the A85-3A. This engine was introduced in 2015 and successfully powers a series of T14 Armata tanks. It is a twin turbocharged diesel engine and is possibly the only X12 engine in the world consisting of twin V6 engines merged into a single block around a common crankshaft. The opposing pistons share crank pins and are timed 60 degrees apart. Unlike many previous X engines that faced issues with lubrication, the engineering team seems to have addressed this problem. It reportedly utilizes a set of pumps and tubes to deliver oil from the dry sump to all vital parts of the engine. To make the most of its compact footprint, the intake and exhaust manifolds are positioned closely to the cylinders. There appears to be a clever X-shaped intake distributing plenum at the front of the engine. It features direct fuel injection and it seems to have a single overhead camshaft driven by a shaft. This 34.6 liter engine is rated at 1500 horsepower with a potentially optimistic and less reliable state of tuning reaching 2400 horsepower and 4000 newton meters of torque. While these figures may not be exceptionally high, the engine's reliability on the battlefield is crucial given its use in tanks. The Chelyabinsk 12 and 360 can rev up to 2400 rpm without a significant loss of power. The lifespan of this power plant depends on the power output and is estimated to be between 2000 to up to 10,000 service hours with a power of 1200 horsepower. The engine weighs approximately 1500 kilograms and consumes about 370 liters of fuel per hour. It is combined with a 16-speed automatic gearbox which is designed to allow a power unit replacement in the field within 30 minutes. Although working on this X12 engine may seem challenging, it is more manageable when performed outside the vehicle on a stand. The Chelyabinsk 12N360 is an intriguing piece of Russian engineering, but unfortunately there is limited information and few sound clips available for engine enthusiasts. The development started with the T95 concept tank, which was cancelled in 2010 and production version was released in 2015. Some features from the T95 were incorporated into the T14 Armata, including the power plant. It is surprising to see such an engine layout being used today and it raises the question of whether we will witness another X engine in the future. While initially aiming to create a video solely about the Armata engine, the scarcity of information and the limited number of X engines led to a video encompassing all major X engine configurations. It is undoubtedly a fascinating motor that seems destined never to be. Other engine configurations have proven to be more reliable, cost-effective and capable of delivering similar or greater power. Yeah. 